While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. That you know this, right? It's wrong. It's wrong. You know who this happened to? Yeah. Who is us? Give me Isaiah 1 and 3. So they call us black. They call us colored. They call us Negro. But did you know, according to the Bible, we the 12 tribes of Israel? We literally God's chosen people. You, how old are you, Byron? You 38? You got kids at all? No kids? So when you read the Bible, you ever disobeyed your parents or something that got bad? And they said they put you on punishment, right? Look at this. This is the punishment that happens to, to God's children when he get mad at us. So we was disobedient against God, so he put us into slavery. The reason why we stay in the slavery is because we continue to be disobedient. Bring it up. Following in religions like Islam, like Christianity, and it has nothing to do with the Bible. Right. Catholicism, gang banging. How we let these people come over here and teach us about gang banging? We didn't hop off the up. Uh, we didn't hop off the boats. Bro, pull up. C come pull up and build. We out here to build the community up, pull up on us. But we didn't, you say what? But we didn't hop off the boat throwing up gang signs. We didn't hop off the boat selling dope to our own people. We the only people that do that nonsense to each other. Why? Because we lost. That's why a brother can be out here trying to fix his community and the next thing you know you got brother talking about such a broke ass up. Why? Because I love my people. Because I'm tired of seeing my people oppressed. Bring it out. Isaiah 1 and 3. No, give me Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. Give me that. Destroy it. And that's exactly why we're in these conditions now. Because we think it's cool to hate our own people. These Arabs, they lay with our women. The white men in prison are men. But you want to turn them for your own brother. You want to turn them for your own brother. We ain't got energy when the white men pull up with guns. When the police pull up in these communities, where's that energy at? You don't see it. Because these people fake it, they flag it, and they know it ain't real. Read. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people. So God says, my people. News flash, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are God's chosen people. You are God's chosen people. Now, if you see the white men come roll up out here, when the police come up here, Byron, I'm gonna ask you a question. You see all these tough brothers out here now. When the police pull up out here, what, what do brothers usually do? They take off running. Right. But when you yeah. see your own brother come out here, now you want to turn up. Now you want to turn up. Shut right. your broke ass up. Throwing up gang signs. But let the police pull up. Everybody scattered like roaches. That's how destroyed we are. We don't do that to no other nation. The white men can come set up stores in your community and you'll let them. But let a brother try to set up a store, y'all gonna shut it down. Rock, read, read it from the top. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Cause there's no knowledge within our communities. Give me knowledge according to the Bible. Look at what you see in Byron. Everything that you see day for day is documented in the Bible. Our people are destroyed, destroyed. That's why when they see another brother that look like them, they want to up guns. Where's all that tough energy when the white man show up? T-Tuck! You don't see it. Niggas scattered like roaches ducking off in the alleys. What? But when your own people come out here, you want to turn up. Shut up, nigga. Get out of here. We don't want to hear that. Why? Because we telling you brothers to stop laying with the women and not marrying them? What? Because we saying stop selling dope in our communities? That's why we turn up on one another with the white man can come out here, lock you up for 30 years, and you ain't gonna do a thing about it. You won't do nothing. And let it be your mans that get locked up. You won't even show up to court for him. Teacher. But you wanna come out here and talk that tough stuff to us. We ain't believing it. It's all fake. We ain't believing it. Ain't no fear in the men of the Lord up here. What? It's a new breed of man on this earth today. What? The prophets of God are back. Read. What? This, this is the book of Malachi. Chapter 2, verse 7. Read it For the priest's lips. Brother, hey, don't just roll down the window. Come build. Everybody talk about how they want change in the community. We bring it forth change in the community. Where's the people that really care? What? Our brothers ain't tired of selling dope to their own people. What? A Negro sell dope to his own damn mama. You telling me we ain't destroyed? You will sell dope to your own father and watch him nod off right in your face. Teacher. And you won't lose no sleep about it. Because we destroyed. Read. 
This is the book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 7. Right. For the priest's lips. The reason why we destroy it, can I ask you a question? You go to church at all? Sometimes. Sometimes. Had the preacher ever told you that you're an Israelite according to the Bible? Read it again. Watch this. Body. The reason why I ask you this, because as you walked up, you're fulfilling this prophecy. This book is written by your people for our people. Watch this. Read. For the priest lips. So God says real preachers or real priests should keep what? Should keep knowledge. You know what knowledge is? What's your name? Uh, uh, Michael. Michael. Knowledge is teaching you. Is your father so-called African-American? Knowledge is teaching you that according to the Bible, you're from the tribe of Judah. Right. That's what real knowledge is. Knowledge is teaching you that this oppression happened to your people because we sin against God. Right. Knowledge is teaching you that that man that you see on that poster is the damn devil the Bible speaks that's of. Right. The man you see on the end, that's a depiction of what the Bible says Christ looked like. Right. A dark-skinned man with the same hair that you got growing off your head. But your preacher ain't telling you that. Your preacher is clapping his hands, telling you the pastor played around and that's it. Or you got the, the Muslim churches out here passing out newspapers and bean pies to a destroyed people. Right. When you go to Farrakhan House, Farrakhan got gold lions sitting outside while our people out here oppressed. Teach, right? Our people out here destroyed. Young brothers, don't just walk by because you are gods according to the Bible. That's right. Don't let this world teach you you know black disciple, no vice lord. Gangsta. It don't make sense. Don't let the world teach you that. It's all lies. It's the same cycle over and over again. Gang bang and go to jail. Gang bang and go to jail. Y'all ain't tired of it yet? Teacher. Gang bang and go to jail. Gang bang and go to jail. What type of grown man wants to be surrounded by men all day? Bring it out. What type of grown man want to be showering with men all day? Bring it and you don't got to. What we out here showing, don't just look, bro. Come build with us. Right. Come build with us. We're your family. Right. Got the same color skin. Bring it out. But ask yourself, what man would want to sell dope for three years to do 30 in the feds? Talk about it, talk about it. We ain't ready to change yet. We see and see so many of our brothers get locked in these cages. Ain't nobody ready to change yet. Bring it out. Where's the real man that's ready to change at? We ain't tired of it yet. It's the same goofy nonsense year by year by year. Read. For the priest lips should keep knowledge. We are here bringing sincere knowledge according to the Bible what our people need. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. I'm going to show you a law. Leviticus 19 and 17. I'm going to show you how destroyed we are according to the Bible. I'm going to show you how destroyed we are. Because it's so strange to see all this fat mouth and all this tough talk. Where is this at when these people set up stores in our neighborhood? When the white man set up stores to sell you, how you got a white man selling you fried chicken? You got the white man selling black people chicken. Bring it out. And we okay with it? Bring it out. We should be building up our own communities. But Bring when your brothers come out here, you want to turn up all of a sudden. Where's that same adrenaline rush when the white man out here? Teacher. All of a sudden you see your own people, you got adrenaline rush to turn up now. Now you bad. Where's all that badness at when these other nations is gunning us down in the street? Right. Read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Read That's it. the reason why God had to put this in the Bible. Because you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, y'all don't hate nobody but each other. Right. Y'all wouldn't lift a thumb up against no white man, no Arab man, no Chinese man, nothing. But you see a brother that looks just like you, and now you tough. Read it Destroy. Destroy. I bet if the police pulled up right now, all these tough ass niggas are scattered like roaches. Teachers. But when you see your brother, now you want to turn up. Read. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Ain't nothing but hatred in the city of Chicago. It ain't no white man dying out here. It's black on black crime at an all time high. Why? Why? The Bible prophesied why it would happen. Read again from the top. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Because we don't hate nobody but our own brothers. We're not out here hating the white man for what he did. The white man put crack in our community. Right. It wasn't no black man that opened up gun stores in our community. Really? The white man dropped guns off, he dropped drugs off, and, and y'all took it, bought it, and sold it to your own people. Right. Where's that adrenaline rush when the white man said put dope in our communities? 
They out here putting fentanyl in our communities. Got our people dropping like flies. Like flies. But ain't nobody turning up for that. But you see your own brother, you want to come against us with telling us to love each other according to the Bible. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.